Consider a neighborhood. Nice houses, nice families, nice pets. Everything seems perfect, safe and sound, right? Maybe, but maybe we'd better take a closer look. Let's pick a house, any house. How about this house? No question about it, looks great on the outside, but looks can be deceiving. Is this a happy home or a poison palace? Before we can answer that question, we have to answer this question. What is a poison anyway? Most people think a poison looks something like this. <gasps> if only that were true, things would be a lot easier, that's for sure. A poison is anything that can hurt you if you take it the wrong way. And as we're about to show you, it can get pretty tricky to figure out what is a poison and what isn't a poison. Hi, I'm Erin. And I'm Becky. Do you remember what a poison is? Anything that can hurt you if you take it the wrong way. That's right. A poison is anything that can hurt you if you take it the wrong way. Which leads us to our next question. How can you get poison? There are five ways for a poison to get into your body. Let's demonstrate these roots of poisoning on our volunteer. Joey! Hey, wait, Joey! We're not going to poison you. We're just going to show the kids how a poison can get in their bodies. The easiest way for a poison to make its way into your body is your mouth. How? All too easily. Eating and drinking something that's poisonous. Next up, we have the eyes. A poison can be sprayed or spilled into your eyes. Believe it or not, you can be poisoned through your nose, too. Breathing in poisonous gas or fumes can be just as dangerous as drinking a poison. The next way is your skin. Spilling a poison onto your skin is big trouble. The last route is your skin again. This time we're not talking about poison on your skin, but through your skin. All it takes sometimes is an insect bite for you to be poisoned by whatever yucky diseases the bug is carrying. Thanks for helping us out, Joey. There are a lot of ways for a poison to get at you, in you, or on you. That's why you've got to remember this. Before you touch, or play with, or eat, or drink anything you're not absolutely sure is safe, ask a grown-up. Remember this place? Our question was whether this is a happy home or a poison palace. It's time to take a tour. <laughs> There. Me too. First stop, the kitchen. Now I know what you're thinking. The kitchen? There aren't any poisons in the kitchen. That's where we keep the cookies and the ice cream and the apples and the yogurt for kids on the go. Well, that's true. Those things are kept in the kitchen. But a lot of poisons are kept there too. And I'm not talking about the broccoli. What am I talking about? Let's take a peek under the kitchen sink. What's in this bottle? Lemonade? Lemon syrup? It sure looks yummy. Hey, wait a minute. When did we start keeping the apple juice under the sink? Is it apple juice? It sure looks yummy. And what's this? Some sweet fruity drink with a name like Blue Blastberry Surprise? Looks yummy. But as you've probably guessed, these things are not yummy. They're not drinks at all. This is dish soap, this is floor cleaner, and this is window cleaner. They're great for cleaning things, but you should never put them in your mouth. Look how confusing this can get. We've poured window cleaner into one of these containers and a sweet fruity drink in the other. Which is which? It's hard to tell, isn't it? Let's try this. We've poured apple juice into one and floor cleaner into the other. Can you tell which one has the juice? This is a can of grated cheese, the kind you pour all over your spaghetti and meatballs. This is a can of sink cleaner, the kind you scrub into your sink or tub or toilet to make it sparkle. They kind of look alike, don't they? Well, just like you wouldn't want to scrub your sink with grated cheese, wash your floors with apple juice, or clean your windows with blue blastberry surprise, you never want to eat sink cleaner or drink floor cleaner or window cleaner. They're poisons. So the important thing to remember is, if you're not sure about something, ask a talking koala bear. G'day, mate. 
They're very smart, but they're usually very busy. So if you can't find a talking koala bear, ask a grown-up. Okay, kids, let's all go to the bathroom. <laughs> I don't mean like that. You kids are gross, you know that? Now in the bathroom, we have a bunch of potential poisons. Like in the kitchen, there might be cleaners underneath the sink. But what about the things that are just sitting on the counter? Hey, do you know what this is? It's perfume. Grown-ups wear it to smell nice. Whew, it might seem harmless, but if you accidentally sprayed it in your eyes, nose, or mouth, it could become a poison. Do you know what this is? It's nail polish remover. Have you ever seen grown-up women with colored fingernails? Well, this stuff gets that stuff off, which means this stuff is powerful stuff, which means you don't ever want to get this in your mouth or eyes. Now, look at this. What's in this cup? It's clear. Looks like water, right? But it's not. This is rubbing alcohol. It's very dangerous. Oh, someone must be cleaning jewelry or something. Just because it's in a cup doesn't mean you can just gulp it right down. Play it safe. Ask a grown-up. Hey, do you know what else is in the bathroom? A tub! Yeah, yeah, a tub. But do you know what else is in the bathroom? A toilet! <laughs> Maybe I'd better rephrase the question. Do you know what other poisons are in the bathroom? No! Medicine. Seems weird, doesn't it? Medicines are supposed to make us feel better. Vitamins help keep us healthy and strong. But medicines and vitamins can become poisons if we take too much of them, or take them when we shouldn't. And remember, boys and girls, medicines can be found in more places around the house than just the medicine cabinet. Now, a person who gives us medicine is called a pharmacist. This is not a pharmacist. This is a pharmacist. A pharmacist works in a pharmacy. A pharmacy is where people go to get medicine. The pharmacist tells grown-ups exactly how and when to take the medicine, if it's for them, or how to give you the medicine, if it's for you. And that's it. You can only take the medicine when it's given by an adult taking care of you. Otherwise, it could become a poison. And never take someone else's medicine. It was made to help them feel better. If you take it, it could make you feel worse. You might think this next one is silly, but you'd be surprised. Never eat or drink any medicine that's not supposed to be put in your mouth. Some skin medicines smell yummy, but could become poisonous if you eat or drink them. The main thing to remember is, everybody say it with me now. If you're not sure, ask the grown-up. All right, kids. In what part of the house do we keep the car? The garage. Good answer. Let's drive on over there. Well, there's no car here now, but there are poisons. Poisons that are right next to your outdoor toys and bikes and such. Like what, you ask? Like what, you ask? Like what? That's better. Like this. This is antifreeze. Grown-ups pour it in their cars when the weather is cold to keep them running smoothly. If you're cold, put on a sweater. Don't ever drink this stuff. It won't make you warm, but it will make you sick. We also have some paint cans in the garage. Have you ever noticed that paint kind of looks like pudding? No! Oh. Well, it does. It's thick and creamy, but do you know what else it is? It's a poison. Never eat or drink any kind of paint, even if it has a name like sweet vanilla melon. It's still a poison. And if you don't know what you should do, ask a grown-up. When we were doing our thing in the bathroom... <laughs> oh, come on! We talked about nail polish remover as a poison. Well, this stuff is paint remover. It's called turpentine, and it's a poison, too. The good news is that turpentine doesn't look yummy or smell yummy, so this should be an easy one to avoid drinking. But we still have to be careful around turpentine. It can be a poison to your eyes, nose, and skin, too. Well, that's it for the garage. Hey, where do they keep the phone in this house?
Well, it's great that you kids know a lot about poisons. And you know that you need to ask an adult before you eat, drink, smell, or play with anything that you're not sure of. But what about your younger brothers and sisters? Do they know? And what do you do if someone actually gets poison? Any ideas? Anyone at all? Someone has to know. Tell a grown up! Good answer. But what if the grown up isn't home? Or worse, what if it's the grown up who's been poisoned? Then what would you do? You love all! That's right. All right, you bunch of smarty pantses. Just what number would you call if someone got poisoned? Or for any other emergency? Oh, come on. You know this. 911! You got it. The people there are very nice, and they are experts at helping out during emergencies. They'll ask for your name, address, and other information. If it's necessary, they'll send an ambulance and a medical team to your house as quickly as possible. Now, if a grown-up were around, they might dial a different number. 1-800-222-1222. That's the number of the National Poison Control Center. These people are experts in anything involving poisons. They can answer any questions that grown-ups or kids might have. Every house should have a sticker like this one near their phone. It has the number of the National Poison Control Center on it. Remember? 1-800-222-1222. Two, two, two. If you think someone has been poisoned, or if you think you have accidentally swallowed or inhaled a poison, tell a grown-up. You might be afraid that they'll get mad at you, but don't worry about that. They might be upset at first, but it's only because they're worried about you, and they want to make sure that you're all right. The main thing they'll do is help to take care of you. So, what was the answer to our first question? Is this a happy home or a poison palace? It's both. Even the happiest of homes can have dangers inside. We should do whatever we can to get rid of those dangers, but no house can be completely safe. So that's why you kids need to remember this poem. Happy homes contain more dangers than you think. There could be poisons on the shelf or underneath the sink. If you think they're harmless, you're in for a big surprise. They could hurt your little nose or mouth or skin or eye. So if you want to be safe, not be sick and throw it up. Don't touch these things on your own. Always ask a grown-up. That's right. Always ask a grown-up. Because nine times out of ten, talking koala bears have their mouths full of eucalyptus leaves. No, we don't. Stay safe, kids.